Okay, I just wanted to um, give a quick introduction to the Biostatistics Epidemiology and Research Design uh, Core of NJX, also known as um, the BIRD Core. And so uh, the idea would be, I'll just give you a quick overview and then uh, we'll also have the, in the Meet the Cores um, session where, where that BIRD's participating and I'll be there also to um, have further discussions with you. Um, so, our, in terms of our the Bird Core leadership, it's um, Perry Halkidis is a co-director and he's uh, dean of the School of Public Health at Rutgers. And um, I'm Jason Roy, and I'm one of the co-directors as well. And I'm uh, chair of Biostats and Epidemiology at uh, the School of Public Health. And you can see, in terms of Bird faculty, that we have um, representatives from um, from Princeton, NJIT and also at Rutgers and with, and the individuals have a variety of backgrounds, um, you know, from biostatistics to, you know, computer science and medicine and, um, and even broader than that. So we have a nice mix of people who are, um, you know, strong in methodology, but from different um, backgrounds. Um, our bird staff, which really does most of the work as part of, um, our bird core is as follows. So Patricia Greenberg is um, our manager and biostatistician. And, um, and then we have several uh, uh, biostatisticians who, including a couple of new hires, um, who really would do a lot of the work in terms of um, collaborating on, as biostatisticians on projects. And I'll tell you a little more about what they do. And we also typically have about three or four uh, students who also are involved. So you'll see that BIRD really is made up of, um, you know, the faculty on the previous slide, um, plus um, are the staff that's listed here and students as well. So the original aims for BIRD were, were the following. So one is we really want to facilitate um, the translation of science into practice by providing um, really state-of-the-art study design and data analysis support. So this is really about biostatistics, biostatistical collaboration. Um, then for AIM-2, we really wanna also promote the development of new methods that really could uh, help improve uh, clinical and translational research in the future. So this is really around uh, design and analysis, uh, new methods uh, to do those things better. And we also for AIM-3 wanna provide educational opportunities. So we conduct a, a, a workshops and educational uh, things like that. So uh, we can really help teach about um, using the sort of best methods, best practices. So to give a little more detail in terms of collaborations, our AIM-1 there, um, we've, th these are some of the schools we've co we collaborate, have we've collaborated with and also some of the departments. So you can see we're really not just working with one place, but rather um, we have collaborations with a bunch of different schools and departments and we're always looking to expand that. So. Um, we're happy to um, hear from you and, and collaborate with you. One example of our collaboration was on support for COVID-19 research, um, where last year uh, uh, several studies um, got off the ground and BIRD was a big part of that, including with helping to uh, develop the data capture tools in REDCap, um, but then all the way through um, a lot of the ongoing, you know, um, sort of alerts to patients, um, to, for them to fill out forms and also to um, you know, carry out some of the uh, data cleaning and data management and also then the data analysis all the way through um, creating you know, figures and tables and contributing to the manuscript writing and grant proposals. So it's very nice collaboration with other um, cores as well as from NJX. And I think it's a great example of how um, having this, um, this infrastructure from NJX really um, made it so that we could um, rapidly get off the ground new studies when there is a uh, infectious disease outbreak. Um, if you're interested in working with us, you can visit the website and which is listed here. You, in, in, there's a bird navigator, which is an online form and you can just quickly click on these boxes and stuff and tell us a tiny bit about the project. And then we'll reach out to you to learn more about it. So basically you would have an initial consult which is free for everybody. And we would determine the scope of the project and what kind of support you would need, whether it's faculty, staff, or student support. And you know, we will learn about it so we can find the right expertise to match up with it. 
Um, we could plan out a timeline um, that would have to do with both, you know, what your deadlines would need to be and how well they match up with our availability. And we could kind of, you know, work on something together to come up with a reasonable timeline um, and, and so on. So that's kind of how it works is the, the, the initial one hour um, collaboration or the consultation is where a lot of that kind of stuff can get worked out. Um, so it's, you know, we have a in-house fee, it's, it's basically an in-house fees for service support team, um, you know, in terms of, in terms of funding, you know, it, we a lot of times end up on supported on grant proposal uh, as part of grant proposals, but then once it's funded, you know, there's money for a bird through that. Um, NJX supports, um, you know, certainly our, the, the one hour consultations plus um, grant support. So we, we participate in a lot of help with, you know, on power calculations for grants and um, helping with the design and analysis and, you know, sort of longer term collaborations usually are either funded by grants or if people have startup funds or whatever it is, but we can work with you on all of that. Um, the kinds of things we do are listed here. Um, you know, so we certainly do a lot of power calculations and things of that nature, but also lately there's been a lot of red, red cap um, implementation that we've been involved with, but we also do, you know, more sophisticated data, data analysis um, and creating tables and figures and working on manuscripts and helping with people prepare for their presentations and so on. So, and you know, the whole range of anything that could be considered uh, biostatistical support. Um, in terms of our AIM-2, we um, have a mini methods grant program, which is aimed at um, funding methods development. And so there's an ongoing call for proposals, which the link is here. You could find it through the NJX website as well. And um, it's ba we're basically looking for, you know, um, essentially kind of like pilot work for novel uh, study design or data analysis methods. Um, you know, we really want, we would like um, through, this, through this NJX, you know, mechanism for to improve how people do clinical and translational research. And so if you have ideas about improving, you know, study designs or um, statistical modeling or, um, you know, you can, you, or ways of measurement, improving how we measure things or reducing bias or whatever it is, anything like that um, would be interested in seeing your application and um, potentially funding it. So we've we funded six so far. The, you know, I, I have them listed here, but you can see they kind of range from um, statistical methods kind of in basic science, like um, gene regulatory networks. The second one had to do with um, neuroimaging where the statistical challenge had to do with the multimodal aspect of it. Um, we're looking at novel um, um, study designs related to precision medicine. Um, this, this one here had to do with the, the uh, sort of nested model having to do with ho hospital specific disparities. Um, this proposal here um, had to do with missing data and how uh, what biases might arrive and arise in HIV research from missing data. And the last one uh, had to do with kind of multi-level data where you're sort of merging different data sources and then trying to um, estimate um, cancer rates um, based on some of you know sort of data fusion type methods and so on. Um, so that's where that is. And if you're interested in um, applying for these kinds of grants, certainly um, take a look at the application form and, um, and then talk to me or uh, you can submit a proposal and we try to review them pretty quickly. There's no deadline. We plan to fund a few of these a year. Um, so just apply whenever you uh, have the time. And, but you can certainly talk to me ahead of time just to make sure it's, you know, sounds like it's a good fit. Um, finally, in terms of education, we've been doing workshops. We, we, we've been live broadcasting them, but we also record them. Um, we've done eight to date, if, if my memory's right. Uh, and we've, we store these, we archive these on a Canvas page, and you can kind of see some of them here. So if you're interested, you can contact Jennifer Zabala, her email's here. She'll um, get you access to the Canvas page so you can see our archive talks, presentations. But you can also, then you'll also be on the mailing list and you'll find out about our new ones. Um, so we're trying to do a, a bunch of workshops on a lot of timely topics and statistics 
and some of them are sort of very introductory and some of them are more advanced. And, and so you can decide which ones are a good fit for you. So that's really the gist of what BIRD does. You can look at our website. Um, you can contact us if you might want um, support on research. Um, you can contact Patricia who manages um, Bird, the, our BIRD core. You can contact me. Um, also Jennifer Zavala, as I mentioned, supports um, our time and she could help direct you in the right way. Um, so looking forward to hearing more from you. Thanks for your time. And as I mentioned, I'll be available um, in the sort of greet the cores um, event that's happening. Um, and if so, when, so if you find the bird one on the schedule, um, I'll be there to talk to you more about um, and see if we can be a good um, fit for whether it's a workshop or collaborate on research or whatever it is. Um, I'm happy to talk to you more. So thanks a lot for your time and look forward to hearing more from you.